Hey guys, welcome back to an all new episode of Conflicts. In the modern day of modern technology, we see a lot of smart different products. This here is a smart recorder by iFlyTech, a company that makes a variety of different smart recorders. This one here is actually the SR302 Pro. Now, I'm actually not 100% familiar with smart recorders, but what it sounds like, it's something that you can use to go ahead and record a conversation. And this one here will actually transcribe that into a written text offline. That's right, it doesn't require any internet. Now, majority of the times you would imagine the internet can do that in a matter of seconds, but then again, your privacy is kind of at stake. But this here, being a sole proprietor of all sorts of purpose, this will actually do everything in house. So you don't have to rely on connecting it. You just turn it on and do its thing. Uh, but yeah, we'll go ahead and try this thing out and see exactly what it's all about. So if you guys wanted your very own, check out the link down below in the description. And without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. All right, so this here's our packaging, this here's our box, this here's our iFly Tech SR302 Pro. So on the back side here, it does talk about a little bit more terms of detail. So it features a two inch screen. Uh, major functions feature noise reduction for recording as well as a multilingual transcription. So I can go ahead and translate my particular verbiage into any other language. Pretty cool. Now this one has a 32 gigabyte storage and features two plus four microphones. So six. Anyways, let's open this thing up. All right, and so we'll go ahead and slide right out. Here's everything that you get. And off the back, I have to say, it is a lot smaller than I was imagining. Now, this reminds me of the old school MP3 players. In fact, it even has that little roundabout, almost like the old school iPods. Uh, it has a record button, there's a screen, and you can see the microphones on the top, featuring this almost like gold, bronze, like metallic mesh grill. Really cool, actually. All right, so we're all set, ready to go. So let's go ahead and turn this on. And off the back, you'll have your time as well as your date and then your battery life. You can actually use these controls here or you can use a touch screen. So you can swipe up just like that. And here's our intelligent recording. Go ahead and start recording. And then swipe over here. You have my files, which is what it saves. And swipe again, show settings. Uh, before we go and start, I'm gonna show you a quick little settings. So if I click on here in general settings, I can change all the small things here from you know system language, the transcription language off the back kind of deal and then in terms of memory so this has a 32 gigabyte storage so that's kind of nice uh, if i go back here you have your file export instructions so you can export your file by scanning that qr code uh, giving you access to the file which is great and then you have your battery and performance system resources in terms of updating so as time progresses you can always go ahead and update the uh the system so that might be more languages going forward and things like that and that is that. And then my files will show the files that you've previously recorded, which we'll be doing just right now. And then over here, you have your intelligent recording, which will just go ahead and start the recording process. Now you can technically use these buttons here as well to go ahead and switch between the different modes. And then of course you do have your volume control. So if you wanna hear yourself when you play back, you can hear it louder. You can also use the actual record button too. So I'll hit that and it'll start recording. So you can see it does have a wavelength uh, and uh, right off the back, it'll just start transcribing, which is cool to see as well. So you can see the progress as it's happening. You do have a status LED indicator right here as well. This indicates that it is recording uh, as it is using the array microphones. Now, if I wanted to flag this particular sentence, click that right there, I can always go back to that and see what it said. Now I can pause this and I can always hit resume and or hit done. Now, if I click on this top button here, this here's the language that is transcribing in. So there's Chinese, uh, Japanese, Korean, and Russian. Well, obviously I'm sure there'll be more, but you can always go ahead and update as V. And then if I click on Japanese, and it'll just say that, you know, it requires it to start again. Um, and then if I record and resume, all right, so now we are talking and it's recording once again, should be translating in Japanese, there we are. So this is nice, again, you can always export this audio as well as export the actual transcription later and see exactly what it said. And of course, if you go and flag certain things, you can always do that too. And then hit this and it'll stop recording. And if I go to my files, I can click on this right here and this will play back the audio if I want it. And it'll start recording. So you can see it does have a wavelength uh, and 
uh, right off the back, it also starts transcribing, which is cool to see as well. So you can see the progress as it's happening. You do have a stats. Now, as you're talking, it does highlight it in blue. And if I swipe this way here, I can actually see the full transcription uh, between the different languages where I paused it and stuff like that. And then if I go to AI, I can always do some voice word filtering or non-human voice filtering. So it does have a good smart system in there, allowing you to go ahead and essentially control it indefinitely. Now over here, you have your different transcription stuff information in terms of exporting goes, and then how to go and export this file and access it on your computer. So overall, pretty simple concept, definitely handy dandy. And to turn it off, just hit that power button and that is it. Now, hope that gives you a little bit of idea what the iFlyTech recorder device is. And overall, a great product to have, especially if you're doing interviews or if you're just trying to record a conversation, kind of showcase it and transcribe it back and then just kind of read about it later. Uh, good for school purposes. If you're trying to listen to the professor, it might be a different language for you to understand the professor. You can always go ahead and record it, translate it, and then reread it later. So yeah, that is overall a really cool product. Now, with that said, if you guys have any questions about the iFlyTech, feel free to comment down below. Otherwise, we'll see you in the next video. Take care now. Bye-bye.